In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a mountain like this, very quickly, in Blender. You can use it for a rough purpose, like in a game development, where very minute details are not needed. So let us start with a blank new file. We can use any flat surface like this default cube, but we have no use of its height. So rather, let us delete this cube, and instead of this, we will add one plane. And we'll enlarge it, in the Y dimension. So let us change this Y scale factor, to 2. Then go to the Modifiers tab, and add one, Subdivision Surface Modifier. Switch over to the simple option. We have to increase these levels, at least up to 5. Now apply this modifier. Cool. We have to now go to the edit mode. First, deselect everything. Then, turn on the proportional editing from here. If you are not familiar with proportional editing, we have prepared a separate tutorial where this is discussed in great details. The link is in the video description. I hope it will help you to get the concept, so do watch that. Once you have enabled proportional editing, click on this drop down and select this random option at the end. Now, please ensure that we are in the vertex selection mode. Then select any one vertex of your choice, and pick up the Move tool. We have to move the vertex point upward. The influence circle is too big for this, so we will resize the influence circle, and make it little smaller. Now pull this upward. And similarly, move some more points from here, randomly. These will become the peaks of our mountain range. You may have to do it several times to get it perfect. But the entire thing in this method is non-destructive. That means, you can always come back here, and adjust the points at a later point in time, to rectify the shape of the mountain peaks, and the valleys. So, let us complete this quickly, with some random choice. So, we got the basic design for our mountain range. Of course you can invest more time here, and do it more perfectly. Now let us go back to the object mode. For the next step, in the modifiers tab, add one, smooth modifier. And then also add one, subdivision surface modifier. For this one, we have to use the Catmull Clark option. Please change these levels to two. The mountains look somewhat good, but to make them even better, you can increase this smooth factor value to one. Or, let us try with two. You can experiment with this, for the perfect combination. Maybe we can go with, 1.5. Then, go to the object menu, and select the shade smooth option. Now, we want to also add some mountain texture for this, for a more realistic output. So, go to the materials tab, and create a new material. Turn on the rendered view mode. We have to now modify some properties for this default material, and we can best do that, in a shader editor. So split the screen into half. And, let us open the shader editor, in the left hand side panel. I hope you are already familiar with the shader editing. By default, we have a principled BSDF. Let us change this specular value to zero. Then we need an image texture node. So go to the add menu, and under texture, add one, image texture, and place it here. Now, we need an actual texture, or an image file, suitable for the mountain. You can search over the internet and get these textures. We have downloaded one such texture, and saved it on our desktop. So, click on the open button, and navigate to the location, where you have kept your mountain texture, and open the image file. Now connect its color output, to the base color of our principal BSDF. As a result, we get a texture added to our mountains. Looks good, but we can make it even better by changing the scale factors in a suitable way. So, go to the Add menu and add one, Texture Coordinate node. Then connect its generated output to the vector input of the image texture. It will look slightly better. Then again go to the Add menu and under Vector, add one mapping node, and place it in between these two nodes. So the texture will now follow the actual geometry. And you can also increase these scale factors. Let's say, we increase them to 2. You can even rotate the entire texture space for this mountain, by changing this field, say by 45 degrees. And the output is here, good enough for our purpose. So, let us close this section. 
Our mountain is finally ready. You can follow this method to create a mountain terrain very quickly. Please use an appropriate scaling factor and some suitable texture to get a better result. As we said in the beginning of the tutorial, this is a low-cost model for those situations where the granular details are not very important. And this is also non-destructive in nature. That means you can always go back to the edit mode and rectify the profile of this mountain. Let us see that in action as well. Once in the edit mode, you can move these vertex points like before, and you can see the change in the shape of the mountain real time. So it gives you enough opportunity to modify or even rebuild the mountain if you think any major edit is required. So please experiment with this and let me know if you have any question or any doubt. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.